Good morning. You're, we're on the little Hebridean island of Ulva, just off the coast of Mull. And uh, there used to be an inn here, but it burnt down in 1880. But some very famous people have actually visited Ulva. Um, in uh, 1773, James Boswell and Dr Samuel Johnson were here. Also, Sir Walter Scott drew inspiration from his 1815 poem, Lord of the Isles from Ulva. John Keats, William Wordsworth, Felix Mendelssohn, who wrote the Hebrides, Hebrides Overture, Fingal's Cave. Quite a nice piece of music. And probably my favourite, James Hogg, who was known as the Etheric Shepherd. And I kind of wondered why it was... Did he write a piece called the Etheric Shepherd? But he was a shepherd from Etheric. Anyway, he had the gall to leave some graffiti on the walls at the local pub. And what he put was, I've roamed around the creeks and headlands of Mull. Their fields are uncultured and cussedly weedy. Their hardlands are bare and their havens dull. Their folks may be brave, but they're cussedly greedy. Pretty hardcore stuff. Maybe it was in those days. But anyway, the locals were really pissed off about it. And anyway, the, uh, the local minister, the Reverend MacLeod, replied. And he put, Ho, oh, shepherd of Etheric, why sorely complain, though the boatmen be greedy for grog? The beauties of Staffa by this we proclaim are like pearls cast away in a hog. This was apparently a sly pun in reference to Jesus' discourse on holiness from the Sermon on the Mount. <laughs> what does that even mean? I have no idea. The Sermon on the Mount was, Blessed are the meekful, they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the peacemakers and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I don't know about you. I mean, in my day, graffiti usually consisted of a picture of a willy with bits coming out the top or some pork-based references to the local constabulary telling them to go forth and multiply. Kind of changed days. But at its peak, in this little island, there was over 800 people here until they were all brutally cleared during the Highland clearances. And there's no predators, there's no foxes here, so the wildlife just flourishes and there's deer, puffins, grey seals, otters. Off the coast you can see basking sharks, sperm whales, dolphins. And uh, now I think there's only about six or seven people. But we're going to go exploring and uh, round the south side. The weather's not exactly on our side today, but that's Scotland. So we're going to talk to you in a little while. Cheers. <laughs> 